Hi, my name is Melissa Ho. I'm a curator here at the Hirshhorn, and we're very lucky to have Kota Azawa here with us today. Kota is an artist based in San Francisco, and his work, The History of Photography Remix, is in the Hirshhorn collection and currently on view until May 27th as, the, as part of the exhibition Out of the Ordinary. Um, Kota, your work very much relates to film and photography, but it doesn't actually involve a camera. I wonder if you can describe your process a little bit for us. Uh, yeah, um, as you said, it, it's more kind of a look at film and photography. It's creating a layer on top of film and photography. And um, it seems maybe like this is some kind of novel or uh, original approach, but I feel in a way people have done this or artists have done this for centuries kind of look at the world around them and then kind of create some facsimile or copy of it. Right. You <clears throat> work um, from found images and, um, and uh, film images as well. How do you, and you've talked, you earlier were drawn a comparison between the artist or maybe the art historian as well and what a DJ does. So how do you find and choose your sources? It's uh, one requirement for me when I uh, decide to work with an image or a found image or a found film is that it has to have some kind of imprint on my memory. I don't go on some kind of a wild fishing expedition in a library and try to find a nice piece of film. It's usually when I'm somewhere completely uh, removed from this film or image that I remember it and then decide to... Uh, work with it and the reasons why I remember it can be very personal or they can be um, just that it's a memorable image that so sometimes the images that I work with are very popular images because they're just memorable but sometimes they are also more obscure and uh, only I have a connection to them and just to be clear for people who may not be as familiar with the, the work that's on view or other of your work, you're um, generally finding photographic images and then transforming them by drawing them uh, digitally. What, what do you think happens in that transformation from the photographic medium to a drawn image? Um, yeah, that's the whole, that was the whole inspiration for this larger project. Uh, it's a translation of some sorts. Mm -hmm. Uh, but from one language into a completely different language. A uh, photographic image is really just a recording. There's an optical device that creates an image based on some light information that enters the camera. And then with a drawing, even though it's a very, you know, drawing is a, is a mental process, yeah. it's a kind of, so it turns from this optical image into more of a, mental image mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um and the the final format for you has varied quite a bit um you make animations what we're showing right now takes the form of a slide projection and also um you've done light boxes what what demands the different um does do different images demand a different presentation or is it partly the circumstances of uh, the exhibition that you're working toward? Uh, yeah, I think there needs to be some kind of tension between the way the image is made and what the image is. And so what seems logical is oftentimes is even the, uh, the wrong uh, way to show something. Sometimes I like to work with a very old and ancient image and transform it into a very contemporary format. For example, I made a redrawing of a Fox Talbot yes. uh, drawing and then I produced it as a kind of contemporary light box. Yeah. But then I also made a um, drawing of a Polaroid camera, right. which is something that comes from the 70s and yeah. I produced it as a 
intaglio etching, a process oh, really? that was invented oh. in the you know, 16th century. So I like that yeah. there's some kind of tension between the image itself and then the way it is produced. Oh, that's interesting. And then in the History of Photography remix, where you have images ranging from the 19th century to very, very recently, but all sort of given a similar treatment, all being projected, digital drawings then projected on slide, there's a, a sort of a flattening out of that time. It's true. And that I find uh, also has that kind of reverberance with ideas of photography. Um, uh, Walter Benjamin wrote this famous essay about the uh, technical reproduction sure. and he kind of thought that the great virtue of photography is that it erases patina that you know images do become the same but I think in a way he was wrong because now we look at an old photograph and we admire the torn edges and the uh, sepia tone and I think I uh, in a way, I'm trying to do justice to his idea of erasing patina. Well, Kota, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us now. And I know you're going to be um, delivering a lecture here tonight, so we look forward to that, and that will also be available on our website. Thanks so much.